Hello to my Geminis. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Geminis. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. As we get closer and closer to this full buck moon in Capricorn, let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Geminis. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. This reading is for the 17th through the 24th of July. So we have the full Buck Moon uh, prediction video up on the Patreon side. If you want bonus videos, they will go up on the membership side. So we're going to get ready for this reading. I've already prayed over your cards, asked for clarity. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We also have digital journals and calendars in the description. Let's get into it. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Geminis. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. All right. Let's see what the message is. Here we have King of Cups. Here we also have the Ten of Cups. Here we also have the Ten of Pentacles. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and also the Nine of Wands. All right. King of Cups here. So, I see somebody sitting on their throne and learning how to pour into yourselves and just like, you know, moving closer and closer towards um, more uh, your relationships that flow in your personal and your professional life, more harmonious, more peaceful, aligned relationships where you feel safe and feel protected. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. And so this could be a business partnership or a romantic partnership, but nevertheless, you know, having the discussion at the root, Pentacles is root chakra, is having the uh, relation, I mean, conversation at the root. Just the very beginning of where you feel protected, how you feel need to feel protected and nurtured in order for things to flow, right? And so since you know, now you know how to pour into yourself, your moon sign, right? You know what your purpose is, sun sign, right? And so someone is now forming new partnerships, right? So now you're ready to form a new partnership. I see you feeling happy, charismatic, and free. You're on the other side of a long and arduous journey. And something is just trying to pull you back. So as you're entering into new situations, which could be nerve, you know, a little nervous for you, those memories will try to pull you back. Like if you're starting a new job, new love relationship, new friendship, new anything that you're embarking on, something from your past where you've been burned or left in a state of confusion or you've dealt with some kind of aggression in the past from other people or you felt unprotected and they felt like they protected you the best they could in their family on the job. You could have had a manager that felt like, well, I did protect you, you know, you know, I, I did the best I could. I acted as a buffer between you and, you know, uh, uh, maybe upper management or something like that where you felt like, okay, they didn't do their best and you had to take something to HR, whatever the case may be. So it's just saying to you, now somebody is crystal clear about um, from the very beginning having those conversations because Saturn is retrograde. And also Pluto is retrograde. Saturn is a, a, uh, the planet of boundaries, maturity and authority. Somebody is now knowing how to create very firm boundaries and enforce those boundaries. Or else, guess what? You're not going back through the same thing. You're not going back through a long and arduous journey again. You're not doing that again. There wasn't a whole lot of growth there, right? So whatever it is that you're embarking on, some kind of a new partnership is coming your way. Gemini's and so somebody's from the very start, you're not just going along with the flow. If it's a new if it's a dating situation where you, you want things to flow, somebody's discussing it from right beginning. You're not talking about an ex, none of that. You're just saying this is what you need to feel protected and secure with somebody if they're introducing you to a new circle, a new their family, whatever, right? So you've learned how to heal yourself, but you're not going through any more uh, wilderness situations anymore. So yeah, here we have the chariot card, right? So yeah, so here's a chariot card. So I definitely feel like source is going to actually re source is actually rewarding you for operating in meekness. That's a strength, right? And just letting source fight your battles, but also asserting yourself and letting people know that you know, just like being able to control something, like being able to control, you know, just like being very firm and just telling people, hey, this is your boundary. If you feel uncomfortable, you know, around certain, you know, certain spaces, I definitely feel like um, um, you, you will, you know, like I said, cut ties because that could limit your abundance. Yeah, it, it could definitely limit your abundance. 
limit your abundance and limit your growth limit you know it, there could be limitations there so and you have no interest or anything limiting your abundance and limiting your growth at all so here we have the eight of swords here we also have the higher font card right so here we have the eight of swords here and so here we have the higher font card yeah something having to do with like i said I'm seeing like source is actually rewarding you for moving on from certain types of energies. But like I said, when I look at your cards here and I'm seeing that you learn how to heal yourself and heal yourself and get away from or move on from certain types of environments and just leaving you protected, you know, for being in spaces where you feel protected. I definitely feel like um, here we have there's definitely some bait and switch going on. You know, being in certain type, being around certain types of energy sources saying to you, it's better for you to just stay away from certain types of people who like to try to keep stuff going. Just get, just get away from certain types of energies. Stay away from those types of spirits altogether. Yeah. So here we have the two of, um, two of pentacles. Here we have the seven of swords. Here we also have the tower card. Here we also have the will of the year, the temperance card, and also the queen of swords. So yeah, so here we have the two of swords. So I feel like somebody have had some, everything is lining up perfectly for you, Gemini, just so we're crystal clear. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. You definitely have a guardian angel that's watching over you and protecting you. Somebody has a guardian angel watching over you, protecting you. But here we have the um, tower card. So some kind of upheaval is happening here. Here's a, somebody has a, the will of the year. You have a guardian angel that's watching you over you, protecting you, and helping you to be a little bit more strategic and just kind of sort of how you move when you're dealing with certain types of energies, carefully vetting your thoughts on your throne. But there's definitely some energies that's trying to pull you, that were trying to pull you back into some drama, trying to pull you back into like baiting you and trying to switch up on you and certain things and so like i said it's an upheaval that's going on so um sources like like i said you're getting some downloads about a lot of things and just like i said protect your energy you know protect your energy you got some um when you're in spaces around energies that like i said when you when you letting people know that you want to feel protected and you know you you letting people know that if you don't feel safe and protected you're only telling them one time and you're moving on from something. Here we have the four of cups here. You have four of cups. So you don't even have to make it all about you. You're just letting them know if you don't feel safe and you don't feel protected and a job or whatever the case may be, you're moving on. Right here we have the three of cups here. Yeah. So, um, so here's the wheel of fortune here. So somebody's going to feel very fortunate. Whatever the new energy coming into your life where things are just flowing, then you're just going to flow. It's just going to feel like you're flowing. You'll feel, like I said, here we have this right here. What is, I thought I said another card. Yeah, the hermit card. Definitely you're going to feel like, you know, you're you're in, somebody could feel like they're in hermit mode, like going through a molting process. But in hermit mode, you're able to analyze you know, your intuition, you know, like really, really being able to pick up on certain types of spirits, certain types of energies when you're around certain types of energies, certain snake energies, you know, here we have the justice card, right? So, yeah, so certain types of vain and vengeful spirits, sources saying when you're around those types of spirits, a lot of times people don't, they're not able to pick them up and certain types of energies that are mirroring spirits, right? So, when you're able to pick up those types of spirits and you're able to pick up their energy vampire spirits, they try to mirror every little thing that you do um, and then try to project something on to you, right? Some trying to project something on to you, right? And try to make you appear like they are. They want something that, like you want something that they have. In this case right here, because this, they want the same, kind, like you want the same kind of family that they have. They want, you want the same kind of money or the same kind of, business that they have you want the same kind of you know music that they have it's something like you want to be able to go out and have as much front fun as that they have and whatever the case may be and you literally could be a person that's a hermit that likes to just kind of sort of like you know you like to just be in the house or whatever the case may be so source is saying to you when you're dealing with snake energy vain and vengeful energy you don't know who they're working with who they're connected to whatever you're not operating in fear 
people just don't know who you're. People just jump to conclusions about who they think you are. So sources saying you're just learning how to stay, you know, take the blindfolds off and, and see hurt people who try to hurt other people. Somebody is definitely waking up from some nightmares. So your anxiety about something could be going away. You have a lot of ideas that's coming down to you. Lots of ideas. Here we also have the four of wands. So I'm seeing in your cards, you know, you're at the end of a long and arduous journey. Something is definitely causing some kind of an upheaval there. And so source is helping you to move on from some things. Helping you to move on, you know, from some things. Um, helping you to try to move on from some things. So, yes. Let's see what else we got going on here, Gemini's. Let's see. Let's moving on from some things. Moving on from some things. Yeah, so somebody has definitely has gotten, you know, moving on from, you know, some two nightmare, two situations that we see these two swords right here, two very low vibrating energies that, like I said, who are definitely very um, deceitful types of spirits that kind of like work together. So that's why you see these two these sores on the ground, they like at a very, very low frequency. And so source is just saying something like you keep seeing a tower card come out a lot in a lot of people's cards. And um, you have some guardian angels around you protecting you. So you're definitely cutting ties with those types of spirits that, like I said before, they, they are mirroring spirits. They like to get close to people. They like to mirror people. They like to project and try to make people feel like they're jealous because they have certain things. It may not even be things that you even want. So just stay away from those types of spirits, Gemini. Yeah, stay away from those types of spirits altogether. So the Wheel of Fortune. So like I said, somebody's going to feel very fortunate too. And like I said, these two cards right here ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics. But on the, but on the dark side of Venus is vain and vengeful. And it can be a disruptor of peace, like tries to disrupt people's peace, especially if some there's some energies that feel like you have something that they want. They will try to make it feel like you want something that they have. And if you're not paying attention, it can really throw you off, right? If you're distracted, you got a bunch of distractions going around you. You got a lot of toxicity going on around. Let's say you stressed out at work. It can happen in your personal life or you got a lot of stress uh, in your personal life. It can happen in your work life and you don't even see it. So pay attention. Here we have King of Swords. You have a lot of wisdom. Stay on your throne. Keep it on the throne. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. And so, yeah, you're a hardworking person. So continue working hard. Um, you know, you're, like I said, ace and two is three. So, yeah, so somebody can say, you know, you're just continuing to work hard. You know, continue to work hard on your legacy, you and somebody. So when you're talking to people about working hard on their legacy as well, that's the energy that you're putting out to the universe. You're helping other people to work hard on their legacy too. They help them to stay away from vain and vengeful spirits. Just like help them to listen to people who want to copy every little thing that they are doing or cop like very draining energies, copying everything somebody else wants to do connected to them. So if they feel like other people, they get excited about being around other people and they want to copy what other people are doing. Like they hear an idea that somebody else is doing, they hop on that idea. So it's just like you're trying to teach people how to pay attention to those types of spirits because those types of spirits are very draining. They're very, very draining. And then they always accuse everybody else of stealing their ideas when there's no, there's nothing new under the sun. But that's how those spirits work. That's how they operate. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's see what else we got. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hold on for a second. Let me grab some more cards here. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. 
Okay, so yeah, so here is a justice card here. So like I said, it, it came out twice. So somebody was definitely dealing with two vain and it's a, it's like I said, it's a it's kind of it looks like it's a group of energies though, just a group of vain and vengeful spirits that are hurt people who like to create nightmares in people's lives and accuse other people of being a nightmare in their lives. It's very just a very just a very toxic group of energies. I don't know who this is for, Gemini, but like I said, I hope you get the message loud and clear. Loud and clear. And whoever source has assigned to you, make sure you're teaching them. Here we have daughter of baskets. Um, so um, um so yeah, somebody somebody is learning. Somebody is learning about just like maybe holding on to other people's water. Like it's like holding on to other people's water. Here we have seven of knives right here. You know, seven of swords here. Seven of swords. And just teaching people how to move a little bit more strategically. You know, when you're when people are cooking up something, you know. See a person right there got they they're cooking up something in the pots, eight of sticks have their third eye wide open because that would be a shame to have all of this knowledge and wisdom and not share it with loved ones it's like be careful of certain types of spirits you got all these different types of energies around you because it's somebody is definitely very creative so creative spirits are you know run the risk you can create the life that you want you're trying to create a very rich legacy you got people around you that's just like they feel like they're not gifted and talented enough. They really haven't found their purpose in the world. And um, you can be very jealous and envious and trying to do something to steal other people's legacy, all of that. So here we have the big house. Mm -hmm. Tower moment again. Yep, so definitely some energies that are, you and somebody are divinely protected, you know, from those types of energies. But again, he was a strength card again. But yeah, just that, you know, coming out of sort of a lion's den feeling unscathed. But again, who wants to have to go through that kind of stuff? <laughs> you know, for real, who wants to have to go through that kind of stuff? People sitting around gossiping and all, because that's what this is. Somebody's just sitting around gossiping about something. You know, that's, um, you know, gossiping and judgment, because that's what the judgment card, this is, uh, you know, this right here, judgment card, right? So... You know, just like I said, just like a scorpions thing. It just feels like a, like I said, some people are just like just gossiping and keeping a bunch of talking going on about stuff, gossiping about this, gossiping about that, gossiping about people's family, gossiping about people's background. All it don't even just get tangled up in those types of spirits. Don't even get, like I said, they talk about people's skeletons in people's closet, but they're not talking about their own skeleton. So, like I said, you deliver from all of that. Here we have Mother of Baskets talking about somebody's mother, you know, this kind of stuff. And, like, where people are from. You know, see this person with really long hair. They're talking about where people are from, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, um, and so... I feel like you're learning just more compassion towards those types of spirits, you know, because those types of spirits like this, they try to mirror stuff. They like to compare people. They like to, you know, like I said, compare a whole lot of stuff. So anyway, just move on. Like Ace of Knives, right? So, um... This would be like Ace of Swords. So you you be asking yourself the motives. Like, what's the motive? Like, what what's the reason why people like to compare people so much? Like, why why they try to mirror people? Why they why so why you know why are they like that? <laughs> to try to figure it out. You be you know. Here we had two of sticks. It's better for you to just keep on moving forward. To try to figure it out. Don't even you take a leap of faith to forward. Don't even just don't even deal with those type of spirits. Trying to compare people. You know, trying to compare this, trying to compare that. It's a waste of energy. They just, like I said, like to stand around and judge people. You know, judge how people look. Judge how people, you know, family. Judge this, judge that. So, like I said, vain and vengeful spirits. They like to hang together. So, when I look at your cards here, as we get closer and closer to this full moon, as you learn how to build your own tradition your own structure in very mature and authoritative way as you're going through a transformation very powerful transformation people will judge you from your past that's a judgment card that's a dim bones card they just, you know skeletons in your closet they will try to look up though but it's a it's only it's a, like a um, distraction tactic 
So it's just saying you can choose to get distracted by it or you can choose to ignore it. Just recognizing everybody. You don't even have to go dig up their bones. None of that stuff. So source is saying to you, you know, stay focused. So this you're dealing with some energies that have a very, in, they have very envious spirits, right? So love up on yourself more. So you have a new attitude. Your well of joy is within you. It's time to heal your wounded self, but don't return their call. So it's all becoming clearer now. You have a, your peace is paramount. The answers that you seek are coming. You have the gift of precognition. That's foreknowledge. Third eye chakra cleanse. It's time for you to adjust your crown and do the mirror work. But somebody was just dealing with an incubus, you know, um, and that's a that's a, a male sex demon. And so it's time to get some fresh air. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're sleeping with them or not. You can literally be standing next to somebody in a grocery store and absorb their energy. If your if your water is low, like if your spirit is thirsty and you're picking up on their energy, you don't even know why you're having nightmares. You just absorb somebody. You can hug somebody. That's why you feel like some people don't want to hug people. You don't even have to engage in that kind of intercourse. You know, that being in a relationship with somebody. But if somebody was in relationship with somebody. You know, and some people are talking about, oh, they were married, they were this, they dated this person, they was with this person or whatever. People are like pulling up your past and all this, whatever. But so source is saying, get some fresh air. Just get some fresh air. You know, people like to talk about people's past. But, you know, apparently somebody just has a demon of envy. They envy something about your spirit, you know, that you were able to, like I said, that's what this tower card is for. Like the tower is falling on a lot of energies right now that have that very envious spirit. They weren't somebody, some people were just not able to stop you from creating the life that you want to create. So they have nothing but to try to pull up. They like to gossip. So, I mean... Now they got something to talk about, but keep on moving forward. <laughs> you know, you don't care. You really don't care. Let them talk. Let them. And if they can't find something, they'll create something anyway. That's just how people like that. They just like they said. They just like to talk about people. They like to have something to hold over because that's how they were been able to control people up until you. But again, they can't control air, right? So you're an air sign. They can't control air. So that's how they like to, and they hang out with those types of people. It's like, oh my God, they would just die of shame if people knew or found out. The difference is that you don't care. That's the difference. So work through your fears. Work through your fears. Anything that you have that, like I said, when you're in spaces where you feel like, if you feel like you're unprotected and things are not flowing, you're telling people, and you say, okay, you're not protecting me. You're, you know, you're telling people, and they're still not protecting you. They're not getting it because it's not clear. It's not clear as a bell to them. Source is saying, remove access from telling them things because they cannot hold water, and they don't realize how damaging it is to you for you to share something with them. And they just thinking, okay, I didn't realize what I was saying. Okay, you won't find out anything else. Uh, yeah, so you want to make sure it's a, a healthy balance of divine masculine to divine feminine energy. Again, people don't know what they're telling the people. They don't know what they're saying. They don't know who. Some people just don't realize. And, and again, because you're dealing with this right here, you know, some people, like I said before, they, they that vain and vengeful. So that's why I pull out these hoodoo cards. I'm like, some people don't understand how serious some things are. Prosperity lies ahead. When you're dealing with people who are stubborn and you can tell them a gazillion times, if I share something with you and you don't, you don't protect, if they don't, you don't feel protected and secure when it comes to just like feeling secure and protected, your information or your physical body or something doesn't feel secure and protected around them. And, you know, you know that they telling people or something, even if they don't tell you, that, you can ask them, well, did you say such and such? No, I didn't say it. And you can tell that they're not telling you the truth. So it's just like, you better listen to your intuition. Somebody's intuition is extremely strong. You better listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Because I'm saying right here, somebody could, um, like I said, somebody could be in a space where, here we have true offering. So true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Yeah. What somebody is dealing with is somebody is dealing with and what somebody is starting to learn is when you're dealing with people who want to be so bad a part of something, 
they just you gotta be careful about around people who just want they want so bad to be a part of something they'll share anything 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 so yep lovers love laws all sorrow and bewitches flesh mind and breath reminding me that i'm unafraid of the unfurling winds of my eternity yep so there was a um i think i mentioned this to you all before there was a article long it was years ago where this this guy had won some kind of um something from his job or something but the the agreement was that he they could not discuss it publicly nobody from his family nobody like nobody it couldn't be discussed publicly and their teenage the guy's teenage daughter had mentioned it on social media and the family had to forfeit whatever money that they won because the teenage daughter said something <clears throat> Source is saying to you, even if it comes down to your own family, when you're saying to your own family, you know, hey, I just got a raise, or they running outside telling their friends next door, oh, my parents just got a raise, and your neighbors are, you know, like I said, they're mirroring everything that you do, or they they looking for any reason to do it. Like I said, Source is saying to you, you may have to be quiet. You may have to just be quiet. You may have to just release some people. You just have to stop telling people stuff. So somebody may have to start telling people, stop telling people stuff. Because somebody, somebody can literally get you seriously hurt because they can't stop, they can't stop talking. You know, and so you wonder what's the motive. And it's because they talk and they got all these ideas about stuff. And they just run in their mouth and they could be telling somebody that they're in a romantic relationship with. They don't just talk and talk and talking. And so you like, what is the motive? Like, why are people like, why are, why are people up in arms? Like, what is going on? People just talking. So, I have the power to change my destiny. I have the power to change my destiny. I have the power to change my destiny. So, that is what I have for you all, um, Gemini's. I think that, I think we have, do we have a number? Yeah, so I have the power to change my destiny. So, yeah, definitely there's some, some energies that, like I said, being harshly judging some people. But I see it says, I am evolving here. So 55, substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change. I need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. 55. So some major changes are happening here. But like I said, I feel like somebody's going to start listening to their intuition, you know, about some things and start really, really paying attention. Like really start paying attention to, I know you all are um, excellent communicators, but it's more of less like now, what are you communicating into who and who are they communicating to? Right, who are they communicating to, and do they want so bad to be a part of something, even if it's your own kids wanting to be accepted by the other side of the family? Are they telling your business? Um, and so, like I said, uh, just be very careful, like I said, because it looks like there's a lot of vain and vengeful mirroring spirits possibly around you, and uh, you have a lot of opportunities trying to come your way, a lot of traveling. You know, a lot of, like I said, but it's not your responsibility to carry other people's burdens. When I look at this right here, I see you sitting on your throne. We got nine here. We got nine here. And I see you taking a leap of faith moving forward. You got tons of, like a sea of opportunities coming your way. And so Source is saying, um, but it's two types of energies, like I said, that's just been, like I said, you, you're you're protected. That's why you see, what do you say, uh, Tower card. I thought I said, so we said the tower card here, tower card came out twice, right? So, but there's been a lot of judgment, lots of gossiping going on, lots of stuff going on. But that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.